A new analysis of global CO2 emissions put out by the International Energy Agency is a mix of both good and bad news. Well, the headline figure is a record high for energy-related emissions in 2022 to almost 37 billion tons. That's nearly a full percent more than the prior year. On the bright side, rising clean technologies, including solar cells and battery-powered vehicles, helped limit overall emissions. And those technologies are poised to play an even greater role in the years ahead. That's according to the report. All right, Mikhail Sterner is an energy researcher at the Regensburg University of Applied Sciences. He joins me for more. Mikhail, thank you for coming to the show. Um, the, the IEA says that recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic is proving more sustainable than past crises. Do you see that there is indeed good news in this report, or are we just so desperate to find a silver lining when overall energy-related emissions actually went up? No, I think it's really good news because the energy transition is already working. Without this, we would have three times more emission raising. So it's already helping in reaching our climate goals, reducing energy independent, independency uh, and stabilize our economy. I mean, there are billions of tons of CO2 avoided, billions of euros that don't go through the pipelines to Russia, but remain in our economy, in our European Germany economy. They stay here, they create jobs, they create welfare. So that's the good side. But we also, like you discussed, the IRA, we need to stabilize that uh, um, by doing right policy making. Uh, I want to touch on the Inflation Reduction Act in just a moment, but I want to go back to this year. How much of this could be just sheer chance? I mean, Europe, after all, has had a very mild winter. The Chinese economy hasn't really been right. running full steam. Could we actually see that in the years ahead, emissions might go up again for energy? No, I don't think so, because um, it's globally, 80-90% uh, of renewables are in uh, energy uh, coming from renewables, new installations. So the switch is already uh, going towards renewables. And um, it, it's just a matter of, of stabilizing and, and recognizing the benefits which we have here uh, and to really do this energy transition. So I don't think uh, that we will have a, a big raise in emissions. I mean, globally, it's a different picture, but at least for Europe, it will be uh, a matter of competition. Uh, who is the one who can really produce climate neutrally? And that's why we have the stimulus. So I'm quite optimistic on that. This positive inertia you're speaking of, you mentioned the Inflation Reduction Act, this massive package of subsidies in the U.S. Do you see that as a game changer for uh, development of these technologies worldwide, especially for something like green hydrogen, perhaps? Yeah, definitely. And I mean, we, th we need uh, this green technology from uh, electromobility, heat pumps, but also hydrogen power takes and so on. And and that the solutions are all there. I mean, many people do not know that we have stable uh, power supply from wind and solar backed up by a power to X and power to gas. And I, I put this all together in my new book uh, on climate solutions. Uh, and, and really explaining it easily, but it's doable. It's just a matter of policy making, and that's where the IRA comes in. And also, Europe has to answer because we are, especially in Germany, always very, very precise. But we 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 lose the big picture, and the US just says we want to go that direction, and they put it out the money, and that attracts, of course, company. And we have to take care that we are not mm. um, falling behind our our leader role in the world. So right. uh, definitely, we need more pragmatism in policy making on energy and climate in Europe. All right, back to that we question need e again. We need electromobility, we need all of that for energy, uh, for, right. uh, for climate uh, solutions. And we should we should not rule out one like e-fuels and so on. Mm. We need all of that solutions to reach our climate goals. All right, we'll have to leave it there for now with Mikhail Sterner at the Regensburg University of Applied Thank Sciences. Thank you.